God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hey, what, what you got there, young man? Some birds, some wild birds. Really? Mm-hmm. Where'd you get them? I got them in that field over there. It's full of wild birds. Wow. Well, what are you going to do with them now that you've got them in this cage? I'm going to play games with them. Whoa, games? What kind of games? Well, my favorite game is I'm going to get a really sharp stick, and I'm going to poke it in there until they're scared, and they're all like, gah, gah, gah. And then my other favorite game, maybe it's my most favorite is, I like to line them up and make them all fight each other, but they're all featherweight, so it'll get boring after about three hours. <laughs> okay, you know, I don't even want to ask this next question, but I am morally obligated to ask this question. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with them when you're done playing games with them? I'm going to feed them to my cat! Your cat? She loves wild birds! Okay. I also love wild birds. You do? That's right, and I think I'd like to take these off your hands. Well, you want to buy my wild birds? That's right. Well, to be honest, sirs, I mean, they're no good for nothings, and they don't do no tricks or nothing, and when you open this gate, they're just, they're just going to fly away. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're probably right. How much? You're serious. Oh, very serious. Five dollars. Okay, five dollars. Whoa, ten dollars. Ten dollars? Yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. Okay, ten dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. They're wild birds. They're exotic birds. You found them in a field. An exotic field. Okay. Whatever. Twenty dollars. Look, that's everything I've got. Sir, it was an honor and pleasure doing business with you. I hope to see you around the neighborhood. Yeah, I, I don't hope to see you. Go ahead. All right, have a good day. All right. Sucker. All right, there you go. Go on. Go on. I see you looking at the cage. Yeah. You know what I've got in there, don't you? Mankind. How, where'd you find them? The garden. Funny thing is, they put themselves in that cage. I had nothing to do with it. What are your intentions for them now that you've got them in this cage? I'm going to play games with them. Games? What kind of games? All types of games. I'm going to put games into their life that they think is going to bring them so much pleasure. I'm going to turn the world upside down. I'm going to make wrong seem right and right seem wrong. Then what? They'll be damned for all eternity. You know, my father and I are, are very fond of mankind. I know. And we, we want them to have access to us. So, I'm going to purchase their freedom. You want these humans? That's right. They've promised you everything before. They're just going to turn their backs to you. Yeah, some will, you know, but some won't. You're serious. Oh, I'm very serious. It will cost you your tears. I know. Your blood. I know. It will cost you your life. I know. You're willing to give your life for them? I'm willing to give whatever it takes. This reminds us about what Jesus did for us on the cross. He picked up that wooden cross and carried it to Mount Calvary because he loved you and me.